Hello and welcome to my Cricket Umpiring channel. In today's episode, we will find out how cricket umpires keep a track of number of deliveries in an over, what routines they have in place, what devices they use, and what sort of assistance do they get from their on-field partners. We will explore all of this in the next few minutes. In cricket, at all levels, and almost every format of the game, an over must consist of six valid deliveries, unless there's a playing condition that overrides that rule. It is essential for an umpire to count six valid deliveries, excluding the wides and the no balls, prior to calling an over. Now, some umpires choose to count prior to the ball being released, whereas some prefer to count after the ball becomes dead, and both methods are correct. Cricket umpires use counters such as these to keep track of number of deliveries in an over. Now, some umpires use these counters to keep a track of number of deliveries, number of overs and number of wickets, whereas some prefer to use these sheep counters that allow them to keep a track of number of balls and number of overs. The sheep counter has got three components, the finger loop, the lever and the knob. Now the finger loop is used to hold the counter. The lever is used to count the deliveries and this knob is used to reset these numbers. Sheep counter has only one display. In order to record six deliveries, we press this lever six times. After we have pressed this six times, it displays the number of deliveries being bowled. To record an over, we will have to click this lever four times. This now shows that an over has been bowled. Similarly, for the second over, we will press this lever six times for the six deliveries. Now, in order to record the second over, we will have to press the lever four times. This now displays two overs have been bowled. This counter has got four units. The first unit will always be used for ball counting and the rest of the units will be used to record the over numbers. This counter allows you to keep track of the number of deliveries, the number of overs and the wickets. Unlike the sheep counter, this is a basic and functional counter with scroll wheels for each of the displays. The good thing about this counter is that the ball count is limited to six only. So after you have moved the scroll wheel six times, like this here, this will bring the counter back to zero. In order to update the over numbers, you'll have to use the scroll wheels on either side of this counter. As a standard practice, after every four valid deliveries in an over, the umpire at the bowler's end shows this two to go signal to their partner at the other end, which is the striker's end or square leg position. Now the umpire at the other end reciprocates the same signal of two to go to confirm the remaining number of deliveries in that over. In case of any wides, no balls, dismissals or any other interruptions, both umpires always confirm the number of deliveries remaining in that over. For six deliveries remaining, both umpires show each other the fist signal. For five deliveries remaining, they use the high five signal. For four deliveries remaining, they use the four fingers pointing downwards. For three deliveries remaining, they use the hand signal with the palm either upwards or downwards kept at the waist level. For two deliveries remaining, and we have already discussed this, that they use the two to go signal with the V sign. With one ball remaining in that over, 
they use the index finger pointing downwards. Thank you for watching. Please leave any questions or comments below. If you like this content and would like to see more of it, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. This is Muhammad Qureshi signing off and I will going to see you in the next video. Bye for now.